Partners in Health recently expanded to West Africa, where we went in the wake of the Ebola crisis to Sierra Leone and to Liberia. And in the process of expanding so quickly, it was really important for us to be staying on top of all the new members of our team who are coming on to help us with the crisis. And because we had one united system with Office 365, I was able to much more easily type in the name of someone and immediately have their email address pop up. And so that allowed me to communicate with them much more quickly. And of course, in an emergency situation as we were facing with Ebola, that was just very valuable to all of us. Partners in Health is a 25-year-old nonprofit organization that's uh, in the business of providing health care to the poorest, most remote regions of the world. We have 16,000 employees. We operate in 10 countries throughout the world. The challenges that Partners in Health had from a technology perspective is that we have issues with power, issues with internet connectivity, and there were no standards anywhere across the board no backups, no common email system. So there was no way to communicate to every person across the world. Before Office 365, we had a lot of different systems that we were using for information, including the older version of Outlook, including Gmail, Yahoo, AOL, any possible email platform you, you can imagine. Having so many different systems was really challenging for us because it's really important to ensure that we have good version control, ensure that we are getting the right number to the right person at the right time. This project for Partners in Health, I think, was very important. We've helped them introduce state-of-the-art technology from both a communication and collaboration standpoint that spans the entire uh, breadth of the organization. And we engineered our Office 365 deployment to include three major pieces. The first one was email online with the Outlook client. Um, secondly was Skype for business with presence and text only. Um, and then lastly was OneDrive for Business. Microsoft Azure allows us to have one central repository that manages all permissions. So for the first time ever, we were able to implement Active Directory um, in the cloud. So SharePoint Online, it's going to give Partners in Health a central repository where everyone in the organization can get to content. You know, greatest accomplishment for Partners in Health is is to be able to act as one organization to really be able to disseminate information uh, globally and immediately. And being in the cloud is having an infrastructure that is global uh, without having an infrastructure that they have to maintain globally. We spend a lot of our time traveling. Um, so being able to access just you know, your Word, your Outlook, your Excel, your PowerPoint, particularly on a mobile device, is really, really huge. The biggest piece that excites me about the technology platform is being able to help unite the organization. For the first time ever, having one common email platform, having one common area to you know, house documents, and have it be accessible to everyone, it's a home run.